Hi folks and welcome to the tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about the flogging modifier um, of X particles 2.5. And I've created this example. Just one simple emitter and it emits a, uh, a school of, of spheres and I'm just pulling them along a small parkour of obstacles. And so I will show you how that works. But I think I'm going to use a more simpler um, example. Right, so let's jump into Cinema 4D. I've already prepared a small obstacle parkour. I just used some primitives, a plane, a cube, a cylinder, a cone, and a tube added a X particles collider tag to it so you can find it if you uh, right click X particles tags collider and just adjust it you can adjust the bound the friction and stuff like that and the only thing I really changed was for my tube um, for my tube primitive here I changed in this setting here from um, to any. This is all I did here. So I'm going just to group them. So uh, what we need to have some fun here is to um, add a X particles system, um, add basic system, go to the emitter and make it uh, a circle if you want it down a bit and move the um, move the emitter a bit out of the way so we can see what's going on yeah this is looking good so if you play back in the default settings you have a constant stream of particles and this is not what we need to make um, to play around with the f um, with the flogging modifier if you have too many particles, the flogging modifier will not work so well. So first of all, let's um, go to the emit all frames, uncheck it and set it down to something like 12 frames. Frames. If you play back, you have a small school, so to say, um, of particles. And the next thing I'm going to add is a generator. And I'm going to generate some spheres instead of um, oops. Going to generate some spheres instead of uh, nothing or just the particle. So um, just add the sphere to your generator and bring down the radius to something like I think five is good. And just decrease the segments to something like twelve. As long as you keep the um, render perfect button here checked, it will render a perfect, a perfect sphere for you. If you play back, it looks like this. And uh, it's just um, a group of particles. So to make it uh, behave like a, a flock or a school of, of, of some objects like birds or whatever, um, you're going to go to your system, going to the modifiers and add a flogging modifier, flog. So and you have different um, parameters for, for uh, to adjust the behavior of your school here. So if you play back in the default settings, it looks like this. So all the particles move apart and then they come back together and actually they're going to react to my primitives I've created before because I've added um, my collider text to it but this is um, you know like kind of random motion and I would like to control it I would like to control the behavior or the direction of my of my flock so what I have to add is a, a tractor. If I, as soon as I add a tractor, my particles try to 
reach my attractor wherever it is they would try to follow it and they do it in a very nice way see so right and all we have to do actually is just to um, keyframe the position of my attractor so let's uh, do that A quick one go back to frame zero uh, select your attractor go to its coordinates and just um, control click its position move a few frame forwards just ignore the particles for a moment just uh, imagine yourself a a motion path for your attractor what what you would like to do the attractor to do whatever it is just move it around in your scene uh, control click once again move it forward let's say uh, to frame 120 Move it over and to the right. Hit control click once again. Then go back to maybe over here, whatever. And then maybe into the cone. And maybe. maybe over to the cube oh I just forgot to oh, something went wrong this 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 hmm somewhere I forgot to control click I don't know um let's do it once again so this is live, so mistakes can happen. Control click and then just move this last keyframe to the end. And let's play it back. So you see this, my swarm is trying to follow um, the tractor. And when they hit an object, they will just uh, stick to its surface or it, they will not just move through it. Like if you, uh, you know, this is a great thing about the collide attacks. You can have like dynamics, like true, dy uh, true physical dy dynamics. And so let's have a look at the flock uh, settings here. So you can bring down the separation distance. If you bring it down to to something like 8 for example your particles will try to stick together more uh, more tighten so if you if you're wondering about some of those parameters here you just have to uh, um, click the uh, question mark here and we'll open the manual and this will explain actually all all the uh, settings you can can adjust here like separation distance cohesion reduction factor acuteness of turn forward motion weighting stuff like that so if you for example if you bring down the forward motion weighting to something like zero your flock won't move any any centimeter it would just stick to try to stick to the its origin so but if you like bring it up something like let's say uh, 60 69 it will try to move and follow the um, follow the uh, tr uh, follow the tractor so and this is actually all I used for my example that I've showed you before and the um, algorithm algorithm that is uh, that this uh, modifier is based on is called the Boyd, um, the Boyd uh, algorithm. So if you Google it, 
you will find for example this Wikipedia article and it will explain you that the Boids are um, just an artificial, artificial life program and you can find lots of stuff about the Boids um, that was developed by Craig uh, Reynolds so thanks for watching actually this is uh, the end of the tutorial and if you like it uh, I hope you like it I hope it was useful in any way or just give you some inspiration to play around with the flogging modifier of the great X particles plugin which is absolutely uh, something um, you should afford and um, buy it for yourself and add it to your daily workflow um, so if you like it you can um, just uh, become a member of my X uh, of my uh, tutorial group here on Vimeo, just search for uh, Equilouts tutorials. That will be great and um, by the way if you have some some money left uh, it would be great if you can do some tips, uh, if you can uh, give me some tips like most of my tutorials uh, you you can give some uh, tip, uh, uh, some tips to my tip jar and that will be also very great because you know like uh, it's just uh, my my time I'm I'm putting into the tutorials and I have some you know some costs with hosting and stuff like that so it would be great if you can have some bucks left to uh, you know like support me and thanks for that thanks for that really so folks that's it see you soon bye bye